Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be pretty exciting. This is sort of a mini vlog kind of style. I actually flew all the way here from KL to Cebu. Uh, this is actually my first time here in Sarawak by the way. And we are currently in the Cebu Indoor Stadium to attend Sukma. Now I'm not really here to just watch the games. Obviously we're going to check out a couple of badminton matches. As you can see, we are in the badminton court. But we're also here to check out a couple of cool tech that's actually going behind the scenes. Now there's actually one specific feature that I really want to talk about here because I saw them operating it earlier on and it's actually very, very cool. So I'm just walking around and I'm going to show you guys a bit about what's happening here. Now typically on a normal day, obviously there's going to be competitions going on and people are just going to be playing their badmintons going on here. But I'm not sure if you've actually watched like even like the Olympics before uh, where there's this basketball match and when you see someone trying to shoot, the entire moment was actually froze and you can actually see like a 360 degree of what's going on and it's just super cool. It gives you a very cool effect there. So that's exactly what uh, Maxis is trying to do here as well. Now if you just take a look around the entire court itself uh, all around here above there's actually a lot of cameras so you can see like right above there there are actually individual cameras all looking around and pointed at the courts now there's a total of 60 cameras over here and they're all 4k cameras so the cool thing here is that these cameras are actually all functioning at the same time and whenever a very cool moment happens you know what it does is it will actually freeze the moment and with using all these cameras around it stitches like that full 360 degree kind of look that you can actually see on your screens right now so uh, obviously i didn't bring my badminton racket to play any games around here but what we did was do a very quick test uh, we just tossed a little mess, mess court around here and there and you can see the effects here this is actually what you can get uh, from these kind of cameras now the whole idea of maxis being here is because they are actually introducing their 5g advanced now to actually create this kind of moment the entire images that are being captured here has to be uploaded to the cloud and this is where the ai will actually run all its algorithms to stitch the entire image to create what you just saw just now which is the frozen scene that just looks super cool in situations like games like this. So with Maxis 5G Advanced, you can expect to see like 10 times the speeds increase compared to your typical 5G. And just to give you a bit of a perspective, like for 5G, the max you can go is about 1.8 gigabits per second. Obviously, it depends on your location. But the whole idea here with 5G Advanced is to allow all these cameras to process everything and send it back to you guys to stream and enjoy that moment right away. It's pretty cool, I would say. Now, in a while, I'll actually be having a very quick conversation with the CTSO of Maxis to understand a little bit more on why are they doing this and how 5.5G is actually going to help us out as a consumer. So let's jump into that scene real quick. Alright guys, so guess what? I just caught CP who is leading the tech at Maxis. It's going to be a bit noisy, so please bury us, but we're going to have a quick chat on what's actually happening here, the tech that's going on behind the scenes. So maybe CP, just give us a quick intro on what you do. Hi everyone, so uh, I'm heading the technology strategy in Maxis. So what we do is they're looking at new technology and exciting technology and try to bring it to life for the consumer and the businesses of Malaysia. Awesome, awesome. Alright, so I know there's quite a fair bit of new tech going on here today. Uh, there's a lot of cameras that's actually situated around the court which I noticed as well. So can you tell us what's going on here? Sure. Uh, what we have here is the smart uh, watching experience where we are actually able to use 60 cameras installed around the stadium and these cameras actually capture the fast-paced badminton action and we're able to freeze the match highlight and rotate the angle and uh, user can see from another angle how this play will pan, pan out. So we actually uh, provide this uh, footage to TV Sarawak every day and they play it on the, as a match highlight after each match. Okay, so CB, quick question. Is this the first time we are seeing this kind of uh, experience here in Malaysia? Yeah, from what I understand, this is the first time that we are seeing this in Cebu, Sarawak, in Sokma and also in Malaysia. Alright, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Alright, so I also understand that there's uh, quite a fair bit of data being used here to actually get all these uh, freeze the moment kind of experiences being, you know, churned out and all that. So tell me a little bit more, how is Maxis actually participating or creating this experience? So we work uh, with the new technology and uh, identify 5G Advance as the leading technology that we can support this use case. So 5G Advance can provide uh, 10 times more download speed as also connect 10 times more devices, also provide 5 times uh, faster responsiveness to the users. Okay, final question before we go. How much faster is it going to be compared to our existing 5G? Right, just now uh, I mentioned a little bit, uh, so it's the peak speed can be 10 times faster, right? So we're actually able to hit about 9.2 gigabit per second in our testing a couple of days back. So this is really, really fast, you know, 9.2 gigabit per second. Wow, okay, that's very fast. Anyway, thank you so much, ZP, for taking the time to have a quick chat with us. Uh, let's go and enjoy the game. Right, right, let's go.
All right, so that's basically what Maxis is doing here, again, in Sukma Cebu Indoor Stadium with all their cameras set up to freeze the moment and give you that really cool and awesome kind of footage that you just saw earlier on. Anyways, uh, that's it for today's quick video. Let me know what you think about the freeze the moment kind of setup. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any further questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.